Meghan's elderly uncle fears the pandemic could see her estranged father, Thomas Markle, and himself both succumb to deadly COVID-19. Respected former diplomatic Michael Markle, who has Parkinson's disease, urged his niece to get in touch before time could not be turned back. He issued his plea as Meghan, 38, and Prince Harry, 35, told the world now more than ever, we need each other. Speaking from his home in Palm Bay, Florida, the U.S. Air Force veteran recalled the mum of one's interview with journalist and friend Tom Bradby last year. He said, Meghan famously said not many people have asked if I am okay. She would do well in this time of a genuine crisis to ask her dad if he is okay. People of my age and Tom's are dying due to the virus. There's nothing wrong with being courteous. It's about time she should try to mend any differences she has with family before it is too late. I think that she should be in touch with her dad. Tom should be speaking to his daughter and his newest grandson. Michael told The Express, it'll be 82 in July, but you know with this virus going around I may not make it that far. Although Tom is younger than me, he has multiple underlying health issues which makes him very vulnerable too. We don't know how long any of us are going to be around. Empathy Mr. Markle's health issues have been well documented. Before Meghan's wedding to Harry in May 2018, the former Hollywood lighting director suffered excruciating chest pains before suffering a heart attack that prevented him walking his daughter down the aisle. Father and daughter have not spoken since, Michael previously said he would have stepped in after his brother announced he couldn't make the trip to Windsor Castle. He said, I thought I would get an invitation, but anyhow I didn't hear from her. Ironically, the Duke and Duchess took to their Sussex Royal Instagram account to ask their 11. 3 million followers to show empathy and kindness as the pandemic takes hold in the US where more than 150 people have died. They wrote, these are uncertain times. And now, more than ever, we need each other. We need each other for truth, for support, and to feel less alone during a time that can honestly feel quite scary. There are so many around the world who need support right now, who are working tirelessly to respond to this crisis behind the scenes, on the front line, or at home. Our willingness, as a people, to step up in the face of what we are all experiencing with COVID-19 is awe-inspiring. This moment is as true a testament there is to the human spirit, we often speak of compassion. All of our lives are in some way affected by this, uniting each of us globally. How we approach each other and our communities with empathy and kindness is indisputably important right now. Over the coming weeks, this will be our guiding principle, Michael said he hoped Meghan would practice what she preached towards her own family. Thomas is understood to be self-isolating at his home in Rosarito, Mexico, concerned by reports the government there is failing to take the coronavirus crisis seriously, risking a major eruption just as the rest of the world takes drastic steps to recover. Michael, who never asked for or received payment for this interview, said he once held fond memories of his niece who he helped secure a diplomatic internship when she was considering a career in international relations as a teenager. But he said the memories have been tarnished after Meghan dropped her own family other than her mother, Doria Ragland. He said, she turned her back on us and now Meghan and Harry have done it to the Queen. I definitely think it was a mistake for them to turn their back and the royal family. For Harry to give up so much too, he will one day regret the decision, especially as he has lost his close ties with the military. We are both veterans, and I think once you're in the military you cherish those days. You miss them when they are gone, Harry should have kept hold of his military ties. It was wrong for them to leave. It must hurt him not to be involved in the military anymore. 
Despite disagreeing with their departure from royal life, Michael said he hoped the couple's move to the U.S. would help build bridges between his estranged family. Speculation had been growing that once the Sussexes have left their royal duties for good they could leave their current home on Vancouver Island in Canada for Los Angeles. The Californian city is well known to Meghan, who was born and raised there. Michael added, Meghan knows Los Angeles very well, as does Tom. It's only a drive from his home in Mexico, one that he makes often, hopefully, the short distance between them will make Meghan think again, and the two will reunite. I know Tom wants that more than anything. 